Well, it's the day after the presidential election, and we don't know who won the election. Now, this goes back to human nature, who we are. And uh, in the beginning of the Bible, there are three very interesting statements. They are statements where God seems to be speaking to himself, taking counsel with himself. And he says in Genesis chapter 1, with great hope for us, let us make man in our own image. Uh, we'll make man male and female in our own image, and they will rule the creation. Then after the fall, the sin in the garden, in chapter 3, he says the man, he's talking, he's counseling with himself again, apparently, the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. God's kind of sad uh, about the way this has turned out and, and the choices that we made, given only one choice in the garden. And then after the flood, in clear in chapter 11, when the, all the people on the earth were now descendants of Noah, the only righteous man on the earth uh, before the flood and right after the flood, uh, God says, when they make this tower of Babel and they fire bricks and they're making new technology and uh, making a tower that goes up to heaven, he says, if they speak the same language, nothing they plan will be impossible for them. And so God, like a, like a rather sad, disappointed parent, you might say, sees us forever teetering on the brink of of what really bothered him in the first place at, just before the corruption about us is that we were corrupt and we were violent. Well, we get to live in a place and time in history that uh, has uh, got problems with corruption and violence, but the more of it we see, the, the closer to, to the brink we are. We know that. And we're always struggling against our nature. And there's only been one solution in all of mankind's history that has been effective for changing the human heart, and that is Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, who loves us, who, who saves us, and who buys us back from our own, from our slavery to our desires. Uh, and so uh, that is where we have to land. Uh, now, I'm so happy that we live in a time and a place where we can decide things by votes and with lawyers and judges and things like that and not with guns and knives and, and uh, explosives. So um, we pray that that continues on. But in the meantime, the thing that works is that we should live in our faith in Christ every day and in every way. Uh, and that's where we do, we're the community of God. We're the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Uh, we have to continue in that. And that's the thing we need to share with others. So whatever the politics are. Well, join us this week. Join us this Sunday as we gather together uh, and bring all of our difficulties and all of our glories together in one place and offer them up to God and thank him for who he is and what he has done for us and uh, leave with him our burdens uh, this Sunday, 1030, uh, online or uh, in the house, as it were, at the Woodstock Covenant Church in Woodstock, Connecticut. We'll see you there. God bless.